that shit crack. Dude, too, what is poppin', man? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Breezy, everything easy. Yes, sir, sir, back with another banger. And today, man, if y'all see my, my QA, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all I want to visit South Africa next. So we're gonna watch this video by uh this man Teo. I forgot his YouTube name, but his first name is like Teo, something like that. He's a, I think he's from Nigeria, if I'm not mistaken. He's a YouTuber, and his, his title is This the Most Beautiful Place in South Africa. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get straight to the video. What's up, guys? How are you doing today? I'm currently at a place that I believe might be the most beautiful place in Johannesburg. And I'm currently on the bridge now. It's like an abandoned bridge. I think Johannesburg is the south, right? Johannesburg, yeah, the south. Yeah. Because we all know the reason, so I've not been able to travel. But somebody told me about this awesome, awesome, beautiful location. It's called Hagby Spots. Hagby Spots is a tourist town located in the northwest of South Africa. Yo, this crab looks like the like Hollywood, not Hollywood, but it looks like California. The way the video is, it looks like it's a very wealthy area. You know what I'm saying? Very nice area. Uh, I was opportunity to go down there and spend the night to see how beautiful this place was. Um, woo! This place is beautiful with double F at the end of it. So, I'm actually guys this in South Africa is the most like wealthiest area in like Johannesburg. You know what I'm saying, because every time I hear Johannesburg or South Africa, people say that's where, that's where you shop at. That's where like most of, of like the you know what I'm saying the the like the more like white Africans be at. You know what I'm saying like like the the Caucasian looking South Africans. You know what I'm saying and stuff like that. So I feel like most of the time I hear that that's where they're from, and that's where like the money's at. You know what I'm saying. If I'm wrong, comment below. You know what I'm saying. So along this road, there are a lot of activities to engage in. There's the lion park, there's the snake park. I think it's a snake park though. Why went to the lion park? And when you get to the dam, there are so many activities happening on this dam. There are boat rides, you can drive on a jet ski. There are also planes flying overhead. What body of ocean? What body of ocean is that? Is that just like a a big ass lake, or is that a body of ocean? Comment below. Let your boy know. Let's get back to the. Video. Yeah, boat ride at this place cost 850 rand, which is like 50 bucks. Jet ski also cost 850 rand. First time tried doing the jet ski. This is my first time ever, which was very scary at first, but eventually I got a hang of it. and be so many resource cutters around this place that you can book and spend the night at average price of booking an apartment at this place is around 50 bucks for a night 50 dollars so it was like 1000 rand no that's very cheap man that's very cheap 50 bucks a day Shit. so as i was leaving this place the next morning i found this abandoned bridge i don't know who built this bridge there it seems like they were constructing the bridge earlier like before and they just stopped it but the bridge is really dope and we drove into the bush and then got to the bridge and I got to watch the most amazing sunrise. The sunrise was really, really, really beautiful. So yeah, guys, I'm currently on this bridge right now. And you can see, you can see how cold it is. It's probably like three or four degrees currently. And the sun is currently behind me. Wow, that's crazy. Down there on that side is the Hatfield Sport Dam. 
Wait, what, what makes it so cold? Like, when the, is that normally how it is when the sun sets out there? Is it that cold? That's crazy. I definitely got a visit, man. I definitely got a visit to South. They said that, I'm not super sure, but they said like after Ghana, that's like the most, uh, 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 not the most, but that's where people prefer to travel to, I guess, to visit and sightsee and stuff like that. But I could be wrong, but that's what I read before. And, um, yeah, let's get back to it now. South Africa, you have family or friends who you like to take out of the kids, or you just want to give them some South African vibes. You come down to have this spot in your in Johannesburg and check it out. South Africa is really, really beautiful, guys. They have so many tons of spots. There is also a whole lot more, but just because of the whole pandemic situation, many of us who are doing a lot of activities are just gradually starting to open up. I know it's been a while. I've done like a travel type vlog type video. But I just said, okay, let me just do this one. Just show you guys what I'm currently up to. Ooh, man, <laughs> my hands can't move anymore. I'm freezing. Ooh, let me run back into the car. Cause I'm feeling cold. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you. Oh, man. If there's anything that you guys want me to know about the South, about South Africa, where I should go, things to do, what to eat, comment below, you know what I'm saying? Send me all that stuff to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram too, man. I'm trying to hit uh, 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 5K subs by at least 5K, I'm oh, sorry, 5K uh, 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 followers by hopefully the end of December, you know what I'm saying, by New Year's. So I'm trying to hit at least 100K subs and 5,000 followers on Instagram. So go on the description and link below. Follow the kid. And that's about it, man. It's your boy Breezy. Everything easy, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Paving this city crack.